The start of this year was fantastic. I would witness three incredible tornado events. The Winterset EF4, the beautiful Iowa tornado, and multiple tornadoes near Crowell, Texas. This amazing start to the year made me think that this was going to be an incredible year for tornadoes. So I convinced my chase partner, Kelton Henderson, to come out to Tornado Alley so that way we could see as many tornadoes as possible. Well, that was the plan anyways. Subscribe. Our first attempt would be on May 11th, where an enhanced risk with a 10% chance of tornadoes would set up in Northwest Iowa. The storms on this day, they looked, well, they looked like garbage. Eventually things started to look a little bit more interesting. Here it is. Oof. We didn't see a tornado on this day, but at least Kelton saved this turtle. You smell terrible. Look who's in front of me, it's Petco Sang. This day was a 10% moderate risk, and all we saw were a few bolts of lightning. Since Kelton and I had met up, we had chased twice and seen zero tornadoes. It was a little frustrating, but there were still many more opportunities to come. Ooh, lightning. Oh. The next day we would witness this massive positive lightning strike. This is probably the most powerful lightning strike I have ever witnessed. Eventually, the storm would grow into this behemoth and produce some of the most incredible horizontal lightning I have ever seen. Although we didn't see a tornado on this day, I still consider it one of my favorite chases of the year. Our next opportunity would come on May 19th, where again we would be chasing in southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. Tornadoes were supposed to happen later in the day, but the storms that did materialize were extremely disorganized and high-based. These storms were just a big blob of disappointment. Big blob of disappointment. That's what I'm going to call that thing. <laughs> but hey, at least we got this nice sunset. At this point, Kelton and I had chased five times, traveled approximately 6,000 miles right when gas prices were at their height, and had zero tornadoes to show for it. It was starting to get very frustrating, but we don't quit. 
On May 24th in Central Texas, the storm that we were tracking appeared to be in the process of producing a tornado. However, this thing was very short-lived. It really did appear to be rotating and it was in the proper location. If this is a tornado, it wasn't really a sight to behold. Well, can't go down that road. On May 29th, we would chase in eastern Nebraska. This storm was actually pretty strong and large, but the sun had already set. Even if the storm did produce a tornado, there was no way we would have seen it. So we just had to settle for some nighttime photography. The real chase was the next day, where a 15% chance of tornadoes set up in southern Minnesota. So we think we're getting a wedge today. Not happening. Kelton was right. We did not, in fact, see a wedge. What we experienced in Kansas is undoubtedly the most intense lightning barrage I have ever survived. I legitimately thought my car was going to be struck by lightning. are close. I'm kind of freaked. I'm kind of spooked. Dude, that was like 50 feet away. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. And my car almost was struck by lightning. A bolt had landed about 50 feet behind us. Also, the storm looked like it was about to produce a tornado. Yeah, that's gonna tornado. It did not. We would go to another storm to the west. This moment was very bittersweet. On one hand, we had this amazing storm in front of us. On the other hand, Kelton was gonna go home empty-handed. Here are our final stats for this portion of the season. It really felt like tornadoes were going extinct in Tornado Alley. Kelton was gone, but the show must go on. My next chase would be on June 5th. Once again, the storms initiated very late in the day, but the lightning and storm structure was incredible. Despite only getting two really good frames, I still consider this a very successful chase. On June 7th, I would chase after some local storms in eastern Colorado and western Kansas. Gonna be honest, uh, this day was pretty uneventful. At this point, I had gone 11 chases without seeing a tornado, and gas was getting more and more expensive by the day. So I took a break from storm chasing. 
A few weeks later, there would be a 5% chance of tornadoes in central Kansas. I was not going to pass up on this opportunity. Right, we're going to another storm. This thing has already produced, I think, uh, two tornadoes, and unfortunately, I've been kind of late to it. But uh, we should be able to catch up to this thing in about 10 minutes. When I arrived to the storm, it was total chaos. Everyone is driving like a dingus right now. If you just People just stopped everywhere. There's no tornado right now, so no need to freak out. Eventually, I would make it in front of the storm. The storm's base looked like it was going to produce another tornado right in front of me. There it is! Holy cow! Oh, that lasted like five seconds. Wow. I finally broke my streak of not seeing a tornado. Sure, this tornado only lasted a few seconds, but it reassured me that tornadoes are not, in fact, extinct in Tornado Alley. And if they are going extinct, then this would be my last tornado ever. But... Something tells me that's not going to be the case. 